Hey there guys, it's Lee here for I Am Mine Blocks. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Library, that's L-B-R-Y. And Library is uh, interesting because it's basically what they're working towards is building a decentralized content sharing and discovery network. So that's a platform whereby you can sort of um, upload your various digital content, whether it be uh, pictures, media, text, video, etc. And then you can share those in a decentralized manner. So you won't need to use uh, YouTube or web hosting or anything like that. It's all done on a peer to peer basis. So this is a coin that I think is really quite interesting. And um, I'm going to be mining a little bit um, of it. And I thought I'd share exactly how to do that uh, with you guys. So if you're looking to mine uh, library, uh, you need a computer with a AMD graphics card. Um, this is not for NVIDIA graphics cards, um, but if you've got an AMD graphics card, you'll be good to go. Um, okay, so I'll put a link in the actual video description of where you can download the actual miner. Um, it's actually a custom version of the SG miner and it has a uh, library algorithm uh, built within it. So you're going to need that. Download it from the video description, as I've already said. Uh, once that's actually downloaded to presumably your downloads folder, you just need to uh, select and extract the actual folder itself. Uh, then if we take a look inside the actual SG Miner folder, um, there's a couple of different files in here. You've got the uh, kernel uh, folder, um, that's just for the other different algorithms that um, SG Miner is capable of mining, you don't need to worry about that. We've got a library-supernova bat file, a readme, and the actual SG miner itself. So what I'm going to show you to do is how to set up your actual batch file for pool mining uh, using supernova. Um, you can also get the basic concept and use it for another pool um, if you wish, but this will get you sort of um, up and running in no time. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this actual batch file and then we go to edit. So right click and then we go to edit. And then inside here, you'll see my um, actual uh, config for my actual batch file itself. So at the top, we've got the setx configuration that basically tells the uh, machine to use 100% um, of the actual GPU power. So then on the third line, we've got the actual um, miner itself. So it's the call to SG miner. And then the kernel that we're going to be using is the library. So that's telling it to use the library algorithm. Then we've got O and then we've got our pool um, address, which is library.supernova.cc. And the port that we're going to use is a variable difficulty port, and that is 6256. So what that means is that the actual difficulty will change. The pool will detect um, how fast you're hashing, and it will change the difficulty um, accordingly. Then we've got uh, the username. So we've got dash U and then riskyfire.worker1 in this case, which is on the actual machine that I'm using. So uh, the other thing that I was going to mention as well, um, if you've used um, the Supernova pool uh, before, if you've used it to mine uh, Ethereum or any other coin itself, you can basically use the same worker details just with a different uh, pool address. So for example, uh, a riskyfire.worker1, um, I can use that same worker details on Supernova to mine um, Ethereum, which I actually do uh, as well as. So you, you don't have to create like a new account on Supernova for each different coin that you want to mine. If you just got one account on Supernova, then you can use that account and those usernames um, across all the different coins that you may want to wish to mine. So then we've got the uh, dash P there, which is just for the password. We've got I for intensity, work size, and G, I think is actually GPU threads. Um, and then just at the very bottom, I've got pools, which just helps the um, display any information if for example if the miner crashes and the pools just basically kind of catches the window and stops it from closing so that you can see any error messages so I just like to add that in there um, as an extra sort of option so that's all the settings that we're going to be using uh, what I'll do now is I'll just actually start up the actual miner and I'll show you how it performs so in this actual uh, machine that I'm showing the demonstration with it's got a MSI 7950 in there and it's um overclocked a little bit i'll just open up afterburner as well just so you can kind of see um clock speeds temperatures and things like that so you can see i've got the uh the base clock is just running at basically a thousand and the memory clock is running at 1250. oh let me just bring that a bit more into frame there um we're at 62 degrees that'll probably go out to over 70 something like that's quite hot in that little room that i've got there 
Um, and then the actual miner is just going to start to refresh. Let me just close these backgrounds a little bit just to tidy up just a little touch. Okay, so if you're not used um, SG Miner uh, before, um, there's lots of kind of information on there, but the primary things that you want to be looking for is in this kind of mid section here, you've got the actual GPU. So you've got the temperature, you've also got the fan RPM, which might be useful. But then you've got kind of the, the most recent hash rate. And then on this right hand side, you've got like more of an average hash rate. I think that's done over like a five second average there. Uh, further up as well, you've kind of got, um, yeah, sorry, the same hash rates again. So you've got a five second hash rate and then you've got an average hash rate. When I've used this miner before, I think I was getting about 55 uh, mega hashes. Uh, further along on the right hand side or just right of center, we've got A, which is your accepted share. So that number basically you always want it to be increasing. The R is for rejected shares or invalid shares. Um, and you basically want very few of those, very little of those. And uh, the HW is for hardware fault. So if you've got your intensity set too high or your configurations are set wrong, um, you'll get lots of hardware faults. And if you're getting hardware faults, then basically you're not, you know, you're not mining efficiently. Um, a lot of your work is going to be going to waste. So just keep an eye on that hardware faults as well. That might be useful for you. Um, and you can see now that the average is kind of um, coming up slightly. Um, so that is about it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll show you the actual uh, pull interface as well. Um, you can see the temperature's gone up to 81 there as well. That is uh, flown up. So that is my kind of um, performance with the 7950. Um, so that I can use that as like a base level. I'll just show you the actual uh, pull now, kind of what the interface looks like. So I'm just going to refresh this. So the pull address is library.supernova.cc. Um, I'll just show you as well. Um, Supernova is a really good pull. I've been using it to mine um, Ethereum um, and quite a few other coins um, over time as well. If I just go to the main page, which appears to be slow to open, um, there's a whole list of uh, other coins that you can mine as well. And like I say, you can mine any of these coins. You just basically use the actual pull um, stratum address and keep the same worker details and same worker password and then you can just mine uh, really quite easily. So you don't have to set up like a new um, login every time you want to mine a new coin. So that's quite good uh, in that respect. Okay, so going back to the actual uh, main library uh, Supernova pool interface. So this is the actual dashboard here. And then you can see um, we've got some uh, various sort of information. At the moment, not a lot on there because uh, it takes a couple of minutes or at least I'd say probably 10 minutes for the pool to kind of catch up with your hash rate and um, all that sort of good stuff. So there's not a lot in there, but um, at the moment you've got this uh, confirmed balance. You can see I don't have very much in there um, at all at the moment. And then we've got the workers on the right hand pane. Um, that hash rate will gradually increase um, as time continues. And then you've got your hash rate and then various other information about the pool and all that sort of stuff. Um, so that's it for mining. Uh, one other thing with a library is they've been a bit slow to issue a Windows based wallet. So uh, once you've actually mined your various coins, if you're looking to withdraw them, you'll probably want to withdraw them directly from the pool um, to an exchange, unless you can use the Windows Wallet. I'll probably do a video on that shortly um, if it works, but I think it was only released um, yesterday, so I'm not too sure how, how well that's gonna work. It's probably gonna be a bit of a, a beta test. Um, but that's something I'll try and do in the near future. So, but at the time being, um, any uh, coins that you earn from the actual pool itself um, just transfer those to um, an exchange it's not the ideal way of doing it but um, you know at least it's something that actually works so just going to minimize that now i'm going to go back to the um the team viewer login um, and you can see the hash rate is picked up now um, i think last time i checked it it was around 55 but it seems to be a little bit slower on this occasion i'm not too sure why but so we're getting 51.4 mega hashes um, and that's all looking pretty good except the temperature's gone uh, through the roof there. I'm not too sure why that is. It really shouldn't be that hot. Um, so I'm going to actually stop that um, and I'm going to have to investigate why that is getting just so hot. Um, I am actually remotely logged in so I don't know maybe one of my fans is uh, stopped or something like that. I'll have to check that out. Uh, and it, But it also could be to do with the uh, algorithm as well. Some algorithms put more uh, stress on the actual components. So, okay, so I think that just about wraps it up. This was me, uh, Lee, for iMineBlocks, uh, showing you guys how to mine a library. 
And um, hopefully you found this video useful. If you have, uh, please give it a like. Um, if you like this style of video um, or cryptocurrencies in general, um, I put videos like this out all the time. So you can subscribe to my channel and um, stay up to date. Uh, one other thing was if, I think I have this library code, I think you might be able to claim some coins or something. Um, I'll put a link in the description. I picked this up a little while ago and um, I can't remember exactly what the the exact details was but I think you may be entitled to some free library coins if you use this link and register so I'll put that link in the description as well and that might help you get started um, of course the uh, my link I'll put that in the video description and everything else that you would need um, as well as so that's it guys thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video